Now from Shanghai. And just this weekend, the president had something more to say about America's competition with China. America doesn't play for second place. The future we're fighting for isn't as the world's largest importer, consuming products made elsewhere, but as the world's largest manufacturer of ideas and goods sold around the world. And yet, as of tonight, China already has more billionaires than any other country on Earth, including America. One of them, a man named Jack Ma, head of a vibrant internet group called Alibaba. And today we sat down with him and he told us he thinks the real competition is for who believes the most in the American dream. You are looking at the man sitting astride an internet universe, the number one e-commerce company in China. And Jack Ma says it's all because of what he learned in America. Americans look up and see what seems to be China streaking ahead. Is America going to get left behind? No, I, I don't think so. I think the American, what you see here is the China dreams is a part of the American dreams. This is the dream motivated us, most of the, wor the world. And what do you see when you look at the United States now? I think too much democrat democratic may not be a good thing. But if you listen to debate, people love to debate. What do you do when you have, in your words, too much democracy? Obama said, uh, yes, we can, but he did not let people know how we can. But when I go in there, they're building up a road, and um, they discuss for two years or three years without deciding what they're going to do. But China, well, let's make it happen. Today, he has almost 22,000 employees. It's like a zoo. Fifteen years ago, he was a teacher who traveled to Seattle and brought word back there was something called the Internet. No one here believed him. It took me three hours tried two to three hours try to convince the company registry officer there is a comp there is something called internet and they, they did not let me to register because they say well there's no such a word on a dictionary so you are, you are telling a lie so <laughs> and now in his words ebay and amazon are like sharks in the ocean but he's the crocodile in the yangtze even though it's tough to navigate the internet in china what about censorship, though? It's unfathomable and un insupportable to Americans that there is the kind of censorship you type in Tiananmen Square and you get this site not available here. The lack of information, the government censoring ideas? Well, from my point of view, I'm not, I, do, I do not speak for the politician. I do not speak for the, uh, the I speak as a business people. China has, the internet has the censorship, maybe five, maybe six or seven percent. But 90 percent is good. Make good use of that and influence people, improve the society. You think ultimately that there will be a political change because of the economic change? It is changing. If I talk to you like this 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I would, I would be scared. I mean, 20 years ago, I would probably be in the prison. Now we can talk. I, I do not want to make the government happy, but I don't want to make them unhappy. I did not give up. I could give up a hundred times, but I did not give up. I say, well, the job I'm doing is helping millions. I was the benefit of Paint a portrait for me of the world 2020. I think American, still number one. 2050? It's hard to say. This is more Be number one is the result. It's not the goal. It's the mission that lead us. So, what's the mission for the nation, for the USA? What's the nation for China? What's the nation for Alibaba? I've always think about the mission. And the mission drives you. It's not the number one drives you.